Okay, everyone, in ENVI 426, Latin American Environments, uh, I wanted to point out um, a kind of how to go about doing the um, Identifying City Structure Discussion uh, Forum. It's a single post discussion forum. Um, if you're looking at this and the dates seem odd, um, maybe this is a, an assignment from that I've recorded the instructions for from a previous term. But anyway, uh, basically what you need to do this for the discussion forum for this particular one is to read uh, an assigned paper. Um, you're going to have to get this from the ISU library using your ISU username and password. And then you're going to go to, um, so read the paper. Uh, this paper talks about city structure and how cities in Latin America tended to be laid out, uh, especially ones with a colonial history. And essentially what you have to do is use Google Maps to find one city or town which adheres pretty well to the model shown in this paper. And then um, you have to find one that does not. So just kind of some tips on how you can use Google Maps to, to help you figure this out. Um, here I have a Google Maps image brought up for, um, or Google Maps open. Um, if you, when you first go to Google Maps, uh, the URL is just maps.google.com you'll find um, that it'll bring you to a, to kind of where you're located uh, in this place um, or in this case you know maybe i want to search for for a location where i might be looking for a colonial city or a city that adheres to the model um, as i mentioned in the discussion board um, or discussion forum instructions you can't use ones mentioned in the class one of those in uh, or sorry in the paper one of those is Bogota, Colombia. And when you, so I'll use that as an example of one that adheres to the model. So when you uh, actually go through this, um, initially Google Maps doesn't really seem to have too much to, to help you with, excuse me, but uh, it actually helps if you diagnose the, the structure of the city at first with a map, but switching over to the earth view here, um, you can kind of see how the city's laid out and initially it might not be obvious with a city the size of Bogota, which is fairly large, um, exactly where uh, the city center is, which is kind of the, the focal point of the generalized city model from that paper. But you can uh, search for it, or search for the plaza, which would be where the kind of um, uh, city is, is focused on, or you might search for the cathedral. Uh, and what will happen is you'll usually find this primary cathedral. In this case, it's actually the National Cathedral of Colombia. And here we have Plaza de Bolivar, which is the, the main plaza. Here is the uh, Palace of Justice, basically the Supreme Court. Here is the um, office of the mayor. And here's the National Capitol building, all arranged around the, the city. As we zoom out a little bit, we'll see some... Um, some kind of higher quality housing here um, and you know we can kind of see as we zoom as we go out we get more industrial type activities um, it might take a little bit of investigation and creative thinking to kind of figure out how the city is laid out but that would be how you find the focal point and then discuss how things work or don't work off of that focal point um, so I just wanted to show you kind of the best strategy, maybe, or a strategy. Here's a, here's a town uh, actually along the Trans-Amazon Highway that doesn't adhere to that model. We, we can't really find um, a, excuse me, a, a plaza in this small town that would fit the bill. Um, we do have, like, for instance, this is the, the city or town of, of Uruara, and here is the, the municipal building. It's not really on a square, it's kind of focused on the highway, kind of a little bit more like our, our North American cities. And that's because the city uh, or town started to develop in the, um, in the uh, 1970s when the, when the road came through. So uh, anyway, just a quick how to, uh, to try to diagnose whether the city meets the model or does not. All you have to do uh, to satisfy the discussion board is to make a single post I did that because I, you know, this week I wanted it to be a little lighter. Um, and don't worry about these things; these are left over from a different class. Here's the lat. This will be the last, uh, or one of the last discussion forum posts 
in the class. Anyway, good luck, and please contact me if you have any questions.